Hello beautiful people and welcome back to another episode of the Chef's Giant Cooking Series and today I have an amazing recipe lined up for you. Today we are going to be making this delicious egg stew. If you are seeing my face for the very first time, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Do what? Smash the subscribe button. Let's get cooking. So my ingredients today, I have five eggs right here. I just cracked my eggs. I have some coriander leaves. I have some salt right here. I have some red onions right here. I have my tomato puree I've just blended it because I don't want to see the tomatoes I have some cooking oil in my pot so today I have two pots I have this one and another one right here with both of them with cooking oil so I have my five eggs right here I'm going to add in a half teaspoon of salt a half teaspoon of salt and we're going to mix this very well so whisk your eggs very well this will contribute to them being very chunky so that is enough for me we are going to set this aside as we are going to heat our oil in the pan so my oil in the pan has been heating up and it is perfectly heated so i'm just going to pour in my egg and i want my eggs Kind of a scrambled so I'm just going to wait for it to cook below then I'm just going to place my wooden stick in this side and pull towards the middle so my egg is perfectly cooked at the edge so I'm just going to pull it to the middle just like that and it has obtained that golden brown color which is okay so I usually pre-cook it before plating it on the uh, with cooking it with the onions finally so that I can get that raw taste that raw smell for the eggs so just make sure they are cooked perfectly all sides so my eggs are perfectly done and they are looking chunky as you can see very delicious and appetizing so at this point you have to hold your manners because you can eat these eggs before you have just finished cooking so step one is done on the other side of the pan so i've just turned off the heat on this side on this other side of the pan i have my onion red onion which is cooking so i want it to brown perfectly just before i can add my tomato paste so my onion has browned perfectly and now I'm just going to add in my tomato puree so there's going to be some sizzling so I just blended my tomatoes just because I don't want the raw tomatoes some of them are cooked I don't want such a scenario so I've just added my puree in so it is not a must for you to blend your tomatoes if your tomatoes can cook perfectly you can just cook them the way they are so I'm just going to let this simmer for about two minutes so my tomato puree has been simmering for about two minutes now I forgot to talk about the Roiko I'm adding the Roiko so if you have noted that I've just used Roiko as the spice to my egg stew please note that you can modify your spices the way you like it but I'm showing the way I make it very basic and then now we're going in with our eggs so I had pre-cooked my eggs as I said I don't like that that uh, smell of eggs so cook pre-cooking it gets rid of that smell wow it is looking perfect and very delicious wow so if you have not had that I just used two large tomatoes so there's no need of adding any water but please also note that you can also add the heavy cream if you want your, your eggs to be creamy or you can also add the coconut milk if your household ha loves the taste of coconut milk just don't feel limited about it wow just look at that yay I did it you can also do the same in your house it is a very simple recipe you can follow it and you won't regret and lastly we are going in with our coriander leaves our chopped coriander leaves so we're just going to sprinkle like that 
Mmm, the aroma is very tantalizing. Wow, you can serve this alongside your ugali or rice or any of your favorite. It can really go well. And that is how I made my egg stew. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like something new. You can also share the video with your friends and neighbors. And until then, I've been your girl, Chef Janet, signing out right now. See you next time. Bye-bye.